boy, it's cloudy and ominous today. Look at those clouds! I think we're in for a thunderstorm! So, we made some progress, but taking a wire wheel to this takes forever. Is it a... There you are. The telescope. No. I know what it is. Bye. It's a bugle. Instructions? Who wants instructions? What's this? <laughs> Maybe I should look at the instructions. <laughs> I know what this is. This, it's an oil catch for your car. This would be the styrofoam. Another box? Huh. You know when you get a song stuck in your head and you just can't get it out of your head? I got that song stuck in my head right now. It's really good, but it's not something I want to be singing. Oi! Oh, muy grande. Oh. Well now what? I know what the bugle is! It's a foot! <laughs> is this a diaper? I have no idea what this is! This thing has wheels! Sweet! This comes more complete than my air compressor did! We're still missing a tiny piece! Kind of an important one though! This foot, it's missing a pin. Aha! There's a missing part! Cotter pin number three! Where is the cotter pin number three? There were only two cotter pins. When all else fails, there's always solder wire. Ooh, I'm getting froofy. I honestly have no idea how this thing works. Man, I really gotta read the instructions. This is totally gonna leak. I gotta show you this. Here's the Teflon job I did. Two wraps, and it's gonna go inside the hole. Which is here. But, <laughs> well, cause your eyes here. Um, it's like a loose roll of toilet paper. It's totally gonna leak. Mark my words, this is going to be leaking when I hook it up. Now I understand how this works, except for this. I don't understand this thing. What's the diaper got to do with anything? Show me a diaper roll. Where is this diaper pad? Wait, what? It goes for death to maintenance. Now how are you going to maintain your machine if you are it dead? There is no mention of this diaper. Oh. Man, they couldn't have used a different color? <laughs> I have a feeling I'm really going to like this, except for the fact that it's fogging up, but I think this is going to be nice to have, for sure. <sighs> Not a diaper! I have no idea how this is going to go. Okay. Why do I say okay all the time? Okay, okay, okay. Alright. <laughs> so I changed it to alright. <laughs> I've been running this at 90 PSI and have been having no problems after I found a couple key pieces of information. If you open up all the valves and you're only at 90 PSI and you're using the standard nozzle, it's just going to dump a bunch of media on your surface and it's not really going to have any pressure. So if you reduce the media flow and allow the pressure to stay high, it will actually change tone, it will reduce the amount of media that's going forth by a substantial amount. I went through, oh, I don't know, 40 pounds probably before I figured this out. This nozzle here I have at about a 45 degree angle. Now, since it's Harbor Freight, we all know that it might not be 45 degrees to you, it might be 30 degrees or 50 degrees, but the point is, I'm reducing the flow of media. And what that's doing is it's allowing more air to come through, and so the ratio is better. 
It's really about ratios with this blaster. You really have to get the blaster ratio correct. Once you do, however, it is phenomenal. So I dumped about 15 pounds in here and I did a bunch of blasting. I don't know if I have enough media left to show you how this works, but let's find out and see if I can show you what it's like when it's actually functioning properly. I've learned two things the hard way. One, wear ear protection. This thing is ridiculously loud. Secondly, I just learned something. Even though you have this mask, it's gonna be helpful if you put goggles on. Even with that hood, you still get debris in your eyeballs. You don't wanna get, this is glass beads. I don't wanna get glass beads in my eyeballs. If you're going to be using an air blaster like this, make sure you have a huge compressor if you can. Uh, the bigger the better. In my case, my compressor really isn't enough to keep up with this if I was just to do it full stop. Full stop, not full stop. That's the antithesis of what I'm trying to say. If you are trying to go full bore for a long period of time, you would need a much, much larger air compressor. I'm running at 11S CFM and I still don't have enough flow for this sand blaster. Now, for doing little jobs like this, it's great. Um, my air compressor tends to run uh, more cycles than it should. So what I tend to do is run just like you saw. So I'll get it up to pressure then I will shut it off manually and I'll do the amount of work I want to do until it runs down on its pressure and then I will make the decision to flip it on. And it'd be nice if it can determine its own cycles properly, but it can't and that's okay. I still really like the air compressor. It's a really good deal. For $500, you're not going to find a better air compressor that I found. So it does a really good job. Um, piece of advice, if, you, well, if you're doing this, glass, eyeballs, like it. Uh, if you're doing this, I would recommend hitting all the areas that is going to be hard to get to with a sander first. Uh, like I didn't get this section over here and that's going to be really hard with the sander. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on this uh, blaster again here in a moment after I get my air pressure up to pressure, air pressure up to pressure, after I get my air tank up to pressure, <laughs> then I will uh, have another go at it. I'm really surprised when you have this set up correctly, it doesn't really go through that much media. The first three attempts, I went through, well, whatever I said, I think, well, it was a total 25 plus, the, so it was probably close to 60 pounds, I guess, if I actually calculated it up, because I had 15 pounds left, so yeah, 60 pounds of media is what I went through, and the Harbor Freight media is pretty expensive, so um, I spent a lot of money trying to figure this out, so I'm hoping I could save you some money. I'm really looking forward to showing you something else that I'm really excited about. This sandblaster is fantastic and it's going to allow me to do things that I wouldn't otherwise be able to do. I'm going to be able to get inside the hood clean without using sandpaper, just a sandblaster. It's going to be awesome. The only side effect to this is it makes a mess. I've spent an inordinate amount of money on media today. I've been using 80 grit glass beads. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try straight sand from Tractor Farm Supply down in Cuna. It's all the way down in Cuna. That's okay. Collecting myself. It's like seven, eight dollars for a 50 pound sack, which is a little different than the $30 I spent for the 25 pound sack. So, I'm gonna go see if that works. And if it does, I'm gonna be sold on the sand blasting. Oh my goodness, it is amazing. Of course the sander's gonna be faster on a big area, 
but the surface that it leaves behind when it's done is quite impressive. And I just realized you probably can't see anything right now because there's a bunch of light behind me. That's all right. Who needs to see me anyway? Oh, yeah.